What's up guys and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode we made our way into this brand new area and now we're heading to our next level which is, which one is it? Oh, there's actually two levels here. Okay then, the Unseen Foe and the King of the Hill. So we can take on both of these, sure. I actually thought there was only one left we had to do here. How do we take, oh, this guy like sort of, oh, he falls asleep. Oh, no, don't, ow. My golden mushroom, it's not a mushroom. I talked about this, it's a horseshoe. No, and he's coming for him. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on. What was that about? I didn't realize that he would just sort of stick around. Oh, he's still coming for me too. Okay. Okay, buddy, calm it down. All right, I'm gonna go over there now. I'm gonna show him a bad time. He's gonna go back to his post, he's gonna fall asleep because nobody learns from their actions in this game. I'm gonna beat him up and go into the unseen foe, just like we were to that guy just a moment ago. <laughs> Fits pretty well, right? Hmm. Wow, wait, this is an interesting looking level right off the bat. Gotta look for those clues. We were four clues behind last episode. I don't want that to happen again. So we're back on the grind. Jump through this window. What do we see? We can't break this door open at all though. All right, uh, hmm. This oh. looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. Nice. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Yep, unfortunately. It'd be really nice if it did. <laughs> it's like, huh, where did he go? So like this guy, we can't really fool him too much, but it's like, if he's sort of moving in our vision like that, we don't have to like try to dodge it all crazy. You can just be like that and then, curse smack, what? Okay, luckily I was able to follow it up there, but that was a little ridiculous, right? <laughs> can't be the only one. Hmm, okay, I do have the dive. I was gonna say, what do I have right now? It was a dive. Hmm, how do I get up there? You can see there's actually vials behind him. We gotta find a way over there. I think we actually can plop down there somewhere later though. Hmm. All right, we got to get a little bit farther. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, all right, now we'll be able to make a getaway to the other side right now. Oh! <laughs> That's sort of scary. All right, we got to earn up some more horseshoes because now we had a golden one coming in here, but now we have nothing. We are back to the bottom. Started from the bottom and look where we are. Whoa, that is so fast, jeez. Some tight end security here. Okay, we'll just have to be ready for it. Oh, so it doesn't come back around. It just sort of stops, starts from the top again. Oh, oh. Alrighty then. You know, we go from the bottom to the bottom. When he gets to the bottom, he just gets a start. Okay, I, I, I okay, okay. <laughs> Jeez, I got hit with the download complete. I didn't even know I was downloading slide three. Okay. <laughs> I had to play slide two first. All right, 67 coins here. And then, oh, it looks like this is where we were coming from. Oh, oh. And then, there you go. All right, cool. Hmm, now what do we do? How do we get across here? Oh, we can just sort of sneak. All right, sneaking it up. I'm gonna plop down here, though. Give him the surprise of his life. It's the si surprise of his life because it ended it. <laughs> All right, get back up here. And then we're good, we're good. We can keep on going on here. Nice on top of the trees and everything. Hmm. I like this area though. Like it's just so cool. Like all the all of the levels feel unique but still carry the same theme. It's not like crazy ridiculous stuff that they sort of threw in because you could tell they sort of ran out of ideas or something, you know? I'm looking at you, chicken level. <laughs> I don't mean to be harsh with that, but <laughs> I'm trying to be a little silly with it. Okay. Oh, almost there, almost there. Come on and go, 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 and dive. There's no way you can't see him there. It's like it's not that dark. I, I just, <laughs> that is a little silly. But that's more of a gameplay thing. I get it, because it's still fun, but it's also just fun to comment on, you know? All right, so we've gotten next to no vials. The vials have been expertly hidden in, around here, you know? It's just hard, you know, to track them all down. You gotta sort of be on top of things. On top of your life and your, you know, your position in life, you know? Are you, are you gonna be a game changer? Or are you just gonna be somebody who moves on and doesn't care about these vials? All right, let's uh, go on top of here. Well, I continue to talk about basically gibberish. All right, and there's the key. Can I get it from here? No, I cannot. It was worth a try, right? <laughs> hmm, oh boy, oh boy, ah, oh, whoa. And it's like, this guy has like no stealth. Like he sees you, he's gonna go for you. Same with her. Whoa, why did I like jump that way? That was weird. 
Or what is this? Um, oh my. Uh, oh, it's just nothing really. It doesn't actually do anything. Okay, monkey ninja, I'll get rid of you. Take care of these two. Can see some vials over there, so we're actually not quite done here. I thought we were getting close, but not really. Get up here and see for ourselves. Yeah, if we can find a way, ah, I see, I see. I think we can actually get up there via this altercation. Nice. How do we get to those ones? It looks like that one we just have to wrap around with. So we'll make that work. We're 18 out of 30, we are starting to catch up now. So hopefully there's enough in this level to provide, because I don't see any more, like looking back. So that's good. I mean, when you look back, you don't see any more. That means that hopefully you're getting pretty close. So we could go, oh, I think I just need to duke it out with this guy. Oh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I got him anyways, but geez. Hmm, and is there any up here? Oh, nope, that's just death. Great. All right, so I don't think there's any more vials over there, so we can continue going up this big old tower. I guess that's what we could have done. Probably should have thought about it a little bit more, but you never know, you know? Maybe something wouldn't have happened and I would have not have had a second chance, but now I can continue through here. So actually, I can keep on thinking this level is gonna end sooner than it actually does. That doesn't mean I can get, you know, sort of relax on finding these clues. I gotta keep being as diligent as, as I have been, but this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we still need four more after that. Hmm. Let's see though, maybe I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong, even if it means I'm, I'm not that good of a counter. All right, go over here, and then, ooh, got it! 24 out of 30 now, and then let's go ahead, take that out, oh, and there was another one hiding behind it, so we only need three more now. That's good, but is it good enough? I'm not sure, no, oh, oh, come on, Sly, why did you go for it? <laughs> you just wanna jump for it. I was gonna turn him around, but I don't know, he made it seem like he had it. Oh, boy. All right, so we're on this tower here now, um, hmm, let's get these two vials to put us at 29. We better find the 30th soon then. So we're just like back on the tower again, really. Okay, um, take you out. Hmm, that's probably where we need to hop down then. Can only guess, what is this then? Oh, this is quite confusing. This is where this is, okay. And what else? There's no, okay, there it is. Okay, there's no way we missed it. There it is, 30 out of 30. To enter the vault code. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be six, six oh, seven. I don't know how I keep guessing it. <laughs> it's just complete luck, to be honest with you. All right, there you go. And what are we gonna get with this page? Can't wait to see. Mind bending, it's Matthew De La Coupe's perpetual slow motion technique. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it. All right. I don't see where that's gonna be too crazy helpful. I mean, it's like, I guess if like, there's like a really bad situation, like where maybe when I need to dodge something, that could be helpful. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But I feel like it's just make, make a stop motion movie. I think it'd be something I wouldn't use too much, but I'm not sure, maybe I'm wrong. All right, then let's go back here. Oh geez, oh geez, this was done, this was done. Whoops. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. All right, all I had to do was the same exact thing you do in the very first level, one of the very first things you do in the game, and I royally messed that up, but not here, and I was able to actually survive still, luckily through a horseshoe. But now we have three keys, four keys, something like that. Okay, so now we gotta go over here, just straight over here and start doing this area, right? Or did we already do it? Oh, uh, no we didn't, I was gonna say, time really flies. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and do King of the Hill. Murray's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. <laughs> I love Murray's wave and his belly jelly. Hi. Right. All right. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Let's do it, Sly. He sounded less. Is it me or did he sound less confident at that time? All right. 
We're gonna do what we can here, but this is gonna be tough. Now we got those training ninjas. They were training for this moment. They were from the last episode. Ugh. Here. It's gonna be tough. I have, like, no doubt in my mind this is gonna be stupid difficult. Um, uh-oh, watch out. Don't be a dingus. I wanna land on you. The way his belly just flaps when he runs, though, it's like, that can't be healthy. Like, I don't know how long Murray really has to live when he's living this unhealthy. Dang, this is a little crazy. He doesn't have a horseshoe this time, too. So we just gotta be careful. Oh, 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 got it, got it. Because, yeah, he doesn't have any horseshoe whatsoever. There's gonna be one popping out from here, right? Yep. It's sort of predictable, but at the same time, they move so fast, it still could be tough. Here, um, where are they gonna pop up now? Oh, no, you're going up here now. Just sort of jumping faster than I can get used to. Oh, gotcha. All right, now you're going this way. I would like it if we could zoom out a little bit, but I can't really control that. Oh, boy. Um, gotcha. Okay, cool. Really? Okay, then, that's good. Keep going. Halfway there. <laughs> All right, you gotta go that way. Okay, keep going, keep going, Murray. Oh, 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 start shooting. All right, I think I did what I needed to do there. I don't know how I didn't hit Murray. That was honestly a miracle. All right, where are you going now? Going down here? Here around, oh, there's the key. Come on, get that key. Um. Oh, oh get you, yes, okay. He's almost there. He's, oh no, he's going, what are you doing? Walk up the stairs. Okay. Oh, oh geez, what do I do about this? Okay, the double, no, I thought I got him. Dang it. All right, monkey there, monkey there. I see no monkeys. Monkey see what monkey do. What is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and, oh, now you can walk up the steps, huh? All right, you go ahead and do that, but there's gonna be something popping up here at the last second, isn't there? Yo, uh-oh, uh-oh, what is that noise? Um. Okay, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. Yes, got him. That can't be it, yep, that's not it. Got that one. Um, oh, up there, up there. Where else? Come on, throw them at me. I'll deal with them. I'm expert shot McGee. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. There you go. Trick shot them, too. Oh, get that one. Come on, why are there so many? Get out of here, monkeys. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> too many. Way too many. Yay! You could have gotten that at any point in time. You just wanted to sit there and shiver. <laughs> well, thank you, Murray, I guess. I mean, I feel like in that time, I could have just found my way, own way over there. But hey, one way or another, we get ourselves yet another game. All right, so those are all three keys for this area, so we can definitely move on now, which is pretty darn nice, I think. We can even do it in slow motion if we want to celebrate. But I'd rather, I'd rather do it in fast motion just to get it done, you know? We're starting to get pretty close to the game here. Or right, close to the end of the game. Wait, was that everything? Oh, now I can just smack that and have a super duper fireworks. I just, you know, luckily enough, that could have gone anywhere. But for us, whoa, we get every coin in the world, too. All right, um, hmm, now we're just going down here. Okay, cool, and here's the new area. I calculated the trajectory of these rockets, and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Hmm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Okay, then let's get started. Where should we get started with? Um, Can I get this guy? Or is this guy gonna fall asleep? Hopefully you're gonna fall asleep. No, you're not falling asleep. I know what, I gotta make my way around for him. Oh, I see, this should be easy enough. Oh! Okay. All right, and just plop down. That's all you had to do. <laughs> all right, let's go for a desperate race. Ooh, is it gonna be another Murray level? I think we're in luck here. Oh boy, it is awesome. Murray, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand and I think to myself, hey Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. We could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boosts you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks okay. for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. <laughs> Which probably means it's gonna be like the hardest race ever. Just because he was confident about it, especially since I always forget that, you know, driving in this car is pressing the analog stick. 
You know, like with every other game in this era, whenever you have a driving vehicle, it's always X to go. And then like in the PS3 and PS4 era, it was like R2 to go. It's like the trigger button to go, you know? So it's just different, one thing, how the games made that change. Secondly, how this game ignores both of those things. Now I gotta remember not to forget the nitro. Or right, slide down the glass, or the, the glass, the uh, the uh, what's it called? I don't even know. The uh, the ice. I, how did I forget the name for ice? I I don't know. I'm out of my mind today, aren't I? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this nitro, and then we'll try to catch up as much as we can, because we did sort of have a slow start because of that. And we missed a few nitros as well. Oh, the the drifting. The drifting, it's not too hard to control. When you start using that nitro, that's when it gets a little difficult. But if you can just go on the side a little bit, that doesn't make it too bad. We're in third place now. I'm gonna go and steal that, snag this, get in the second place. We're only on lap two out of three as well, so we can really make this work, I think. As long as we turn around here, it's lap three out of three though. So we gotta be careful, we need to be able to beat this last dude. So whenever we feel like we're about to run into the wall there, I think we just sort of need to cut the corner tight and just keep going. Let's see, like this, go like that. Come on now, we can do this, we can do this. I believe in us. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Nitro. Oh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be so close. Come on, come on. Don't take that. Ooh, and I take the lead. Oh, we're taking him. Oh, drifting it out. Gotta go over here. We just not, need to not hit a wall and boom. Nice. Go get that key. We're bringing that guy to the ice cream with us. And there we go. There's another key done. Murray gets his ice cream. Everything works out pretty darn well. I love it. Okie dokie, let's continue on then. Where are we going next? Oh, oh, wrong button. Hmm, I think this way. Is this dude gonna fall asleep on us? He ain't, because we gotta go down here, and then we just gotta sit on this thing. All right, go, go, go. <laughs> I love the poses Sly has. It's just like, Sly's such a cool, cool character, just because it's like, you know, oh, it's one of these things again. <laughs> All right, I'll explain it once we're in the level rapid fire assault. <laughs> awesome. This vehicle is identical to the one you found in Ms. Ruby's lair. Someone with some serious high-tech skills must be providing these guys with hardware. The fifth member of the Fiendish Five, perhaps? Remember, use the left analog stick to move and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. You know, Hooray. I bet that cannon is powerful enough to blow down those heavy security doors. All right, let's go ahead and do it. That being said, I think Sly is such a cool character because like, especially sort of reinforced in this area because it's like, these are actually trained fighters, but Sly can keep his own and most of the time take it out, you know? That's just so cool, you know? He's like, he's very good at what he does. And it's just, I don't know, I always find characters who are skilled and passionate to be so awesome and exciting in my opinion, you know? Something like this, like something like Goku, something like Drake from Uncharted. There's these characters that are super passionate about what they do, they care about it, and because of that, they're great at what they do. To me, that's awesome, you know? All right, let's bust through this door, and I think this is what's stuck in my memory as being difficult more than the swamp one, and maybe that's why I was a little surprised on how not too hard it was, but I don't know, we'll have to find out. Oh, ow, that's loud. Attention, valued employee. It has come to my attention that a thief is loose somewhere inside the firework production facility. Please do your part to pitch in by killing this intruder on site. Thank you, that is all. See, that time I sort of understood him a lot better. Last time I was just like so muffled or something. I was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, let's just sort of go through these guys. We're taking this out pretty easily. We're just gonna knock down these little hatches. And it's like, these characters are very Crash Bandicoot-esque too. Like, they're at, like, I don't know what it is. Like, the animation style, the music, the game itself isn't very Crash Bandicoot-esque. And like, once you combine it all, it isn't. But there's these little things in here that feel like Crash Bandicoot to me, you know? I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a dork. All right, let's bust through this stuff if we can. Get a bunch of free coins for it. We can get ourselves a our second horseshoe here, that'd be pretty nice, so I'm gonna take every opportunity I can get. Hmm, because I wanna see if we can't make our way to the boss today, so being able to get that would be nice. All right, oh boy, oh boy indeed. All right, taking care of this, taking care of that. These snowball dudes not being very pleasant, but that's okay. Dude, there's a lot of them too. Hmm, I really should sort of maybe speed this up a little bit. Just sort of go through like that, oh boy. Um. Yeah, we'll just bust through this for now because it's taken a tad bit too long for my tastes and then take you out. Nice, okay. Is that everything? 
What, we got like icicles here. Oh, we can just take these out, cool. All right, this is a little odd, but hey, let's just keep going. Oh, there's more now. Hooray, more! <laughs> just keep going through, keep going through. Hmm, now there's two of them now, so you gotta be a little faster with it. I love how when you get close, they just sort of wait for you to smack you. <laughs> like, yeah, this is funny. <laughs> I don't know, okay, get out of here, get out of here, ooh. All right, take care of this guy and that guy too. Nice stuff, and then that's it. We completed this level. Let's go ahead and knock this down and, ooh, no, knock it down more. <laughs> keep going, keep going, and, oh, no, oh, hold on. Now we get closer. Jeez, this takes forever. Can't I just hop out of the vehicle and take the key? I guess not, but there you go. Now we can, and get ourselves a, eh? Another key, we're at 68%, which is actually pretty darn cool. All right, so now we only have one level left to do, which is actually way over yonder. Let's see what this one's gonna be about. These last two levels have been quite easy, comparatively, so hopefully this is a breeze as well. A duel by the dragon. I'll take it, let's go on in. Okay, so this seems to be an actual platforming level, not the other stuff. I mean, I love the other stuff, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's good to see a good platforming level in the mix here, taking care of as many monkeys as we can as well. Hmm, a lot of these platform things. I love it so much. Indeed I do. Ah. How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut Ooh. up, Greentail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. She needs to be a little less narrow-minded, but for now, we can't worry about that because she's gonna start shooting her blaster at me, which isn't fun. I remember this, like, this is probably, for me, the most memorable chase between Sly and Carmelita. I don't know why, I just sort of like the area again. Like, I don't know, there's something that just sort of sticks out in my memory about this one, for whatever reason. Okay, we gotta be careful here, though. And once again, it's like whenever you get super close to her, you notice how bigger like her character model is compared to you. And maybe that's just sort of like, you know, a technical thing of the times. Maybe it's like, it had something to do with like, you know, detail on the model or something. I don't know. <laughs> At this point I have no, I have just as little idea as anybody else. All right, we got that stuff though. Now we can hop up here. Oddly being pretty nice with this. Okay, wait, what about that stuff over there? Wait, what is that stuff? Huh, I'm not sure. Here, hold on. Ooh. Oh, okay, cool. I sort of shortcutted it, but hey. <laughs> Didn't even notice that was a thing. Uh oh. Um. Oh. Oh my. Did I do that wrong? Oh, well, now I fell. <laughs> this is a little odd. I'm a little confused here. Here, get across like that while just she just keeps shooting at me. Um. Hmm. Get over here. Boom. And then that's gonna do something. Okay. Uh. Oh no, monkeys too. <laughs> Why can't you help me take care of the evil monkey? Jeez, fine, I'll do everything myself, right? Let's see if we can, I would really like to get all of the things here for this level though. Here's three more, we're making good progress, like we're at 24 out of 40 now, that's pretty good. I'm ignoring some coins here just because I really just wanna spend my time getting the uh, other stuff that won't get us, you know, that is more important to get. Hmm, all right, I messed that up sort of. <laughs> Let's try that again. So I don't know where this one's gonna land. That one's gonna, oh, it's gonna knock the whole thing over. So we're still in the process. Okay, I get it now. Oh, oh, okay, I thought I fell there. Not have been good, keep going though, keep going. Ooh, all right. Can I hide, will she be able to see me still? Oh, she knows exactly. <laughs> I can't fool her like that now, can I? <laughs> all right, wait, was there stuff up there? Oh, there's a monkey man. Okay, we'll deal with him in due time. Right now it looks like we've actually shaken the lead on Carmelita. Probably not for too long, but hey, yep, yep, she's back, she's back. <laughs> Didn't take too long at all. Several seconds, really. Hmm, let's get this way. Take care of whatever we can in our path, but what is going on here? Oh, she's shooting it away for me. Thanks, I guess. I mean, what? Okay, a little odd. Okay, don't you be shaking your fist at me. Huh, now I see. Okay, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, got a few more vials there. We're getting really close at this point. The game is sort of like dropping frames there, though. I don't understand why this game would have a little bit of lag anywhere. It's an old PS2 game, and the graphics are revamped for PS3, but not that much game. Come on. Okay, let's get over here. And then, whoa, okay then, calm it down. Keep going. And then, 
We're almost there, just gonna smack you. And what's over here? I don't know if we got them all. I feel like we missed a few. There are two more over here. What is that gonna leave us with? Oh no, it's gonna be the final two, cool. All right then, uh-oh, what's gonna happen here? Oh no, watch out, Carmelita. Oh, oh, okay, no, okay. I thought I was actually gonna hit her that time. It's like, oh no. I don't want her to get like destroyed or nothing. That wanna be good. It doesn't she look huge from this angle? She's farther away from the camera, yet she's larger. Like, that's just weird. I mean, maybe it's intentional. I don't know. Hmm, all right. To enter the vault code. All right, Multiple it's gonna be. blood vessels burst in my brain while figuring this out. The code had better be two, three, one. All right, I didn't get as lucky guessing this one. <laughs> all right, two, three, one. Just like that. And let's open it up together. See what's inside. Ooh. I'm not sure. Could be something cool. The blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom. All right. Hmm. So, for the treasures, then? I'm gonna assume for the treasures. I don't know what's down there. Um. Yeah. What is down there? Game. There's. This? What, what is that? Uh, I'm, I'm confused <laughs> why it wants to focus on random things like that. But it doesn't matter too much. We've been having an okay job finding some of the clues, but if we need more of them, I guess we'll just sort of use that when we can. So now what are we doing? Knocking this all down and... Oh boy, is that all of them? It looks like it, oh no, the dragon is falling. When you least expect it, I'll be there. What is happening right now? <laughs> She's sort of glitched out there a little bit, but hey. Sorry, Carmelita. We'll be waiting for you. But there's our seventh key, 71%, so we can actually go and fight Mr. Panda Man now. So that's actually pretty darn cool. I'm glad to do it. All right then, so let's go ahead, throw these keys into the rockets and see what would we get. Okay. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, no, no, we can swipe it, right? Oh, there we go, I see. I, I did it, I did it, don't worry. Oh boy. Oh no, okay, and we're making it to the boss. It's Flame Fu. I, I don't think that's his name, but hey. Oh geez, I remember this. Kerry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Foo. Oh my. And this is where things get a little scary. I remember this being this boss being really tough. Now also, this is where I remember the game being super cool. Technologically. Te technologically? <laughs> I thought something that was really impressive about this game when I was a kid was that I turned off the PS2 after I got sick of you know trying to win this boss. Then I turned the game back on later. And like usually, you know, you gotta load up the game, go to the menu, and then load where you were. Here, as soon as you press you know, the disc for it, it immediately boots up here, it remembered where you were. And that I never saw in a game before. Like there's no menu system, it just instantly in new. And I thought that was very cool. Now I think that we're supposed to sneak up to him like this, and then we're just supposed to smack him in the face. Like it's a whole dodging game. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and we actually, so he will actually say his move before he does it, and it seems like that's how we'd sort of dodge him here. So it's like that, but I need to be a little bit better at it. All right then, that's not too bad though. All right, I'm just gonna smack away at him, and then he's gonna do something. Oh, no, no, wait, are you done? No, you're not. Oh, okay, there you go. Knocked us back with his belly. So we just gotta be careful of what his moves are. We gotta be paying attention to it, really. All right, so he's taking it all full on Dragon Ball though with the Kamehameha, like they just... Of thunder, fiery wheel. Okay, this is a little weird. Ooh, so I might not talk as much because obviously I need to listen to the dude. Oh, okay. So we're actually making some pretty decent progress. I had to itch my chin, and that was sort of dangerous. Okay. Um. Oh boy, indeed. Let's see. Going through here. All right, all right. So we gotta move. All right, this is interesting. 
All right, but I'm sort of figuring it out. There you go, I think we only need to do that one or two more times. This actually isn't as bad as I remember it. Maybe because now I'm not, you know, a child, I know how to listen. <laughs> I definitely didn't know how to do that when I was a kid at the least. I don't know if other kids. All right, we're almost there though. Ooh, okay, one more time. We got this, guys, we got this. We only take one more hit though, so it's gonna be pretty dangerous. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Do your palm thing. There you go. There you go. Nice. We got him. First try and everything. With that cane is unparalleled. Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. All right then, some awesome progress made in today's episode. We finished up China, and in the next episode, we'll make a, be making our way. Hey, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's Lair! All right, we're gonna be doing that in the next episode, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Panda Zebra so you've watched the end of the video and that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.